Hoppel, mein Junge. Thank you, man. Uh, okay, what is this? Let, let me learn some history. Three minutes. That's good for my ADHD. Historical nations which capture the imagination as all. much as Prussia. With the there are few historical nations which capture the imagination as much as Prussia. With its staunch militarism, its dedication to phenomenal facial hair and its iconic borders. Yet, if you look at a modern map, you'll see that there's a distinct lack of Prussia. But why? What happened to it and where did Prussia go? Now, I know what many of you will already be saying. Prussia just became Germany, right? Which is both true and also isn't. You see, Prussia wasn't just a nation state, but it was a cultural centre, a major part of the German speaking world, and briefly an international great power whose influence stretched far beyond its own borders. Prussia's journey from firmly existing to not isn't a linear one, and this change starts in the mid 19th century. In 1866, due to a conflict surrounding the ownership of some land recently taken from Denmark, Prussia went to war with the Austrian Empire and its allies. It promptly defeated them, and as a result, the Prussian Chancellor Otto von Bismarck annexed the northern Austrian allies and forced its own to join That's the North German right Confederation which wasn't really a unified nation state, but more of an alliance completely dominated by Prussia. The North German Confederation didn't last too long, because if you look at the time, you'll see it's time for war with France. What? Is it? <laughs> what? Okay, thanks. And in this war, the Prussians were on the same side as the southern German states who came to its aid. And after defeating the French army, the victors proclaimed the creation of... Dude, Prussia was shooting on everyone, man. What? Yeah, I just got spoiled, man. Prussia was shooting on everyone. It really makes whoa, sense. Whoa, whoa, uh, thank you, Vladimir. Imagine you are the world and you look at Germany. Hi, and for all these years, they just fucking always shit on everybody militarily. And it really makes sense that after Hitler was defeated, after World War II was done, you kind of realize, listen, boys. Something needs to fucking happen, man. Something needs to fucking happen. It really makes sense. The German Empire. And for many, this is where Prussia ceases to exist. Except that it didn't. The German Empire, as the name suggests, was an empire, and it consisted of several kingdoms, duchies and principalities, all of whom were considered to be semi-independent, barring matters of collective defence, that is. The emperor of this new Germany was also the king of Prussia, and the empire's chancellor was automatically the prime minister of Prussia too. Despite Prussia's dominance of the new German state, it shouldn't be seen as Prussia's... You know what I think is so massively interesting in human history, like genuinely, prime minister and I know Chad is going to explain it in detail. Look at this map. Look at this map. This map kinda, kinda, in ways, shows how Germans vote nowadays. This, like, AFD, CSU, um, and stuff like that. A lot of historical maps have relations to nowadays voting behavior, man. I think that is so interesting and so crazy. Like, I've, I've seen this picture once. Maybe you guys can find it. I've seen this picture once on 9gag. 9gag. It was a picture of an area in America many many years ago and it was just geography just geography and there was lands where they could have a lot of cotton and lands without cotton and then there's another picture that that step by step shows so because you could have cotton there and they're not they had black slavery over there and then they became racist so years later they now vote republican trump and not biden like you know that picture does anyone have that picture that is so insane man anyone know that picture it's like how 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 maps are related. You have a map from thousands of years ago and ge geological stuff, and it actually has influence on elections now. It's so, is that the picture? Yeah, this one. Like here, what, what, here. How ancient geology left its mark on the US maps compare. Can I, can I go deeper? Man, shut up, man. Nerv doch nicht, ey. Oh, dreimal muss ich hier drücken, ey. The map on the left shows the area of exposure of set. Four fucking buttons and then ad block. Alhamdulillah. What is this, for example? You get the point, right? Damn it. Blah, blah, blah. Shortly after the Leave campaign, triumphed in the Brexit vote, Britain's referendum, blah, blah, blah. BS if. What? I don't understand this map. Is it relevant that Brexit vote correlates exactly to the map of mad cow disease? <laughs> Isn't that insane? What? That can't be real. This is mad cow disease and this is... Fuck off. So if, if you vote for blue, you have mad cow disease. This is insane. This is so interesting. What the fuck is this now? What? Polish election results overlaid on a map on the former German Empire. Former Germany votes for Komorowski, and the ones that weren't German are vote for... Isn't that super insane, man? 
Isn't that insane? I think that is so interesting. Like, just because the, the universe put certain ripe soil in a certain direction, they, they nowadays vote for this or this. It's so crazy. And it kind of shows you how simple... Sometimes history and the human race is simple than you think. It's all, it's, it's all just about your surroundings, man. Humans are a black box. Prussia's dominance of the new German state, it shouldn't be seen as Prussia simply becoming the German Empire and as having annexed the other parts. They were all separate in the same way that Hungary I'm and really Austria were separate in the Austro-Hungarian right Empire. Like all empires, the German one didn't last forever, and after World War I it was dissolved, lost a bunch of territory, and was succeeded by the Weimar Republic. Much like the rest of the empire, Prussia lost its royalty and became the free state of Prussia minus these lands, and it was now governed by its own diet. Now, obviously, Prussia still existed, but it was very changed and no longer reflected what it's historically famous for. For one, it was one of the more stable parts of the troubled Weimar Republic. For example, its state government was nearly always run by Otto Braun of the Social Democratic Party, which brought it into conflict in the late 1920s with the conservative German Chancellor and the central government. To fix this, the German Chancellor Franz von Papen and President Hindenburg issued a decree in 1932 simply dissolving the Prussian state government, oh. and von Papen was now directly in charge of the state. He didn't lie and neither did the Weimar Republic, and its replacement maintained direct control over Prussia. The new government reformed Germany's internal states into new units called Gau in 1934. And this was basically the end of Prussia as a single territorial unit, but there were some titles and traditions which remained. Along came World War II, and as you'll know, Germany lost this one too. As the country was being occupied, Otto Braun approached the Allies and asked them to reinstate Prussia as an independent state. Did he? I, I never knew this. He asked to bring Prussia back, but they were like... In, in 1946, who was living in Prussia? Was it Polish people or Prussians? Or did the Allies say, all you Germans, fuck off, this all, all goes to Poland now? Or how does this work? The Allies said no, both. because by both. this point they'd already decided to take this land from Germany. And also, there were many in the Allies that felt that German militarism came from the legacy of Prussia. And huh. they believed that ending Prussia's very existence after sense, a lost dude. war would kill the cultural roots of militarism in the new Germany that was to come about afterwards. I hope Clever. you enjoyed this episode and thank very you for watching. Clever, man. Clever, clever. Clever, clever. Well, I kind of spoiled the game now. Let's see. Let's see where we go. Interesting, man. Really an area I don't know much about. Is the window open? I'm sweating, man. It's so hot in here. I found the Alabama map you wanted to see on Reddit. Yeah, what, what was that correlation here? Wait, careful. He could trick me. So this is the... I've seen this. This is so insane. Okay. Cretaceous sediment. Fertile blackland soil. So this was fertile. Then they made farms there, right? The farms were bigger. That means they had more slaves there. That means there was more black people there. And one thing I really learned in life, I really believe this, and you can you can count me or whatever. I learned this so hard in my life. If you live next to minorities, you will understand them more. If in your life you see people of color, trans people, whatever, it's so much more likely you will understand them and be for them. Most xenophobic people are people that never see Xenos, you know? And because they had a lot of blacks, they are now voting Democratic. Just because the soil was fertile there, isn't that insane, man? But it makes sense. That's dude, everything. Everything is together, man. Goering was the minister president of Prussia, but of ceremonial. Zero meaning. There are countries with Prussian army legacy, for example, Chilean army pride. What? Ch Chile? 